Thai is very popular here in Thailand. Some nice shirts. And you've got your Hugo Boss. Do got you yeah, yeah, very good. Absolutely. Right. Lovely. No right. problems. Ah, oh, what a cup. <laughs> perfume. More perfumes. Absolutely. Lovely. Oh, they're nice. And some are nice and long. Some not so long, so you've got to be careful what you're looking for as well. What do you got? More artwork. More artwork, I'm not going to film the temple. And we're back to where we started. Exactly. So there is more to this market, but um, we just need to be careful sometimes because people don't like being filmed. Oh, sorry, my friend, after you. <laughs> You're all right. Here we go, banana. Beautiful. Mwah. Very good. Lovely food. Baked goods here. Usually the pizza lady's here, but she's not here tonight. Don't know where she is. So uh, this is the main street of Caron. And as you can see, there are a ton of places to eat. We've got uh, taxi, or tuk tuk, tuk tuk. Mini bus, pharmacy. You walk into the pharmacy, say, tell them what's wrong, and they'll give you a tablet for it. Probably not an S8, but they'll give you a tablet. Uh, if you look up here, as I pointed out to Michelle, um, you just need to keep your eye out because you can really get some bargains here sometimes. You know, it's like uh, there's a room up there for rent. 400 baht a day, which is probably about 16, 15, 16 dollars, and then uh, 9,000 for the month, which is like, you know, it's, it's less than 200 bucks. You know, like seriously, You've got to give it a go. Over here. Say hi, everybody in Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Absolutely. <laughs> so here we have, you know, there's a gamut of places that you can eat. Sorry, sorry darling, after you. Um, massage, um, the, we found a place today that has happy hour for massage and it's 250 for uh, uh, an hour, wasn't it? Yeah, it's on Facebook anyway. There you have your seafood. Hello darling, showing everyone in Australia, come to Thailand, Phuket, Karon and eat. Chi. So there you go, 200 baht. Too easy. Main drag again, we have roti pancakes. Um, but if we get a moment, we'll introduce you to Mr. Mr. Kim and he's our favourite man for, uh, but there you go. So if you're on a really limited budget, you can eat the pancakes here and from 70 to 50 baht. Uh, 
over here you've got your plain less on that one very good thank you sir uh, people are standing outside the restaurant like competition is fierce here fierce but unfortunately because it's Phuket and because it's a tourist town you can uh, you know uh, it's still relatively cheap to eat but um, this is Ying Ying's restaurant here very good food Thank you. no worries more here we have our uh, exchange booths and these are everywhere in town and you just usually just go up there with your money uh, they'll have uh, an exchange uh, form there you can see what the Aussie dollar or the American dollar whatever dollar is worth and you just hand your um, your money over and they'll give it back to you and tie there's no bullshit you just get on with it here we go poor old rusty hey boy As you can see, some restaurants are more ornate than others, but again, their seafood is wonderful. What a cup! Look at, look at the size of those prawns, people. King prawns. How much? How, how much? Uh, one, look like that's just 170 for one hundred and seven. One hundred and seven. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Ah, Balmain bug. Yeah. Yeah, one fish, 200 baht. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Just remember to be careful. Watch out for your motorbikes and your traffic because they will not give way to you. There are no pedestrian rights in this country. ATM machines, Caron guest house, plenty of places to stay uh, and keep it within your budget. As you can see, the Russians are still quite big here. There's some construction going on. Um, there you go, there's a perfect example of an exchange booth up here. And you just have a look. I usually have the US dollars, um, the pound, all currencies are there. At the moment uh, we're trading at 24.5, which is the lowest I've seen it since I've been here. Yeah, it keeps going down. Keeps going down. Another poor old dog here. They're all well fed though. The Thais love their animals and look after them. You've got Family Mart, 7-Eleven, Bamboo. Quite a few of these places here that'll stock your every need. You just need to go and have a look. Here's our favourite ice cream girl, Naomi. Her and her husband own this brand. They bought the franchise and uh, if you can see, excuse me, sorry darling. Hello darling, our turn now. You on YouTube. This is our favourite ice cream lady, and as you can see, oh yeah, go and try apple crumble. There's the price list there, so you're ranging from uh, 69. First time. How are you doing, Steph? This lovely lady will let you try. It's also traditional to have a glass of water with every ice cream, so. Oh gee, that'll be hard. Hang on, the things I do for you people at home. Mm, mm. That is lovely. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm, that is good. Mm. See why it's hard to get away from this lady. <laughs> oh, cup con cup. Crumble is beautiful, yes. lovely, yes. very good. You tell your husband he's a good man. <laughs> cup, come, cup. This is one of the popular, I don't know why, it's probably one of the most popular eateries around this place, and it's the red onion. And over there, you've got just as good over there. These people look after you, do a lovely job. I don't really know why, but so it's really nice. So it's a very popular eatery here, the red onion. Guys. So lots of people lined up ready to eat here, I can tell you. Just in here, you're going to give me the watch, alright? Yeah. There you go, little Thai house here. Again, more restaurants, Thai massage, little markets on the side.
as you can see, there's no shortages of motorbikes here in uh, Thailand. Amazing. Ah, what a cup! <laughs> Thank you. Cup kum cup. Then we have the bamboo, a little bit more upmarket. Might be more upmarket, but the food isn't necessarily all that great either. So. Yeah, their coffee's like diesel. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, here we go. A little bit more upmarket. This is Bamboo Mart. As you can see, plenty of ATMs to use here. You just need to uh, contact your bank and find out which ones you can use in Thailand. They usually incur a $5 fee, so you do what we do and you keep your, you know, you just figure out how much you're going to need and take it out. And before you actually leave Australia, go to the bank, make sure they have your card number and tell them you're going overseas. Because last year I told them I was going, didn't give them the card number and we could only get to use it once. So luckily we had a credit card. Yeah, we got a shut down. We got shut down. So it shut us down. So luckily we have enough money on us. So if you do need them, make sure you contact your bank before you leave. Give them your email that you can actually use in Thailand. Okay. Crossing down. Now these are your more traditional Thai restaurants here guys and I really support giving your money to the Thai people, okay? Some of the other restaurants are foreign owned uh, and the, the food here is absolutely gorgeous and there's nothing wrong with it. Now you will be able to see the prices, okay? And it's considerably lower, you know, eating these places. They may not be as flash but the food is good. Between okay. 60 and 100 baht a meal is uh, quite cheap here. Yep. If you can. Another place over there, just as nice. Hello. Lovely That's people. Very good. very good, excellent food. So don't always go for the flashiest. Sometimes these little out of the way places are really nice to eat. The food is excellent. And no, you're not going to end up with botulism. Lots of these places here where you can uh, book a trip anywhere, shop around again, make sure you're getting a good deal. Sometimes just going up and having a chat to the more stylish cabs. Kebab place, yes, you can get kebab and it's halal. How important. So, yeah, more, more Thai massage. Again, power line systems here, beautiful. Rooms to rent again so you know what guys a ton of places to stay don't freak out you can come over here with a backpack and you will find somewhere to stay here's a little nice noisy tuk tuk coming up there we go 7-eleven now apparently 7-eleven you can go in and buy sim cards for your phone you can also report crime here. If you if something happens to you and you need to inform the police, you can come into a 7-Eleven and talk to them and they will contact the police for you. There is actually a sign along Karen Beach telling you that. Alright, here we go. The bars. The girls are getting ready to rev up for the night. Bands will be playing. Very nice. Again, this is franchises owned by uh, Russians. Here we go again. More free seafood. You got to remember, guys. This stuff is bought daily. Okay. And once it's used, it's, it's not put back and it's kept under ice. So for all you panic merchants who think you're going to get sick, the answer is no, you're not. These people buy their produce fresh every single day. And it is cooked fresh, trust me. They can't afford to serve up bad food here because, you know what I mean, they can't afford people to get sick. Because there's too many other places to eat. Absolutely. Very quickly.
I'm going to introduce you to our favourite man here. This is our favourite pancake man. So we're on the corner here of our soy, and I've yet to find out the name of our soy. There's no real, <laughs> real names, but you'll be able to work it out because you've got Hotel Caron straight ahead of you. And over here, this is our favourite pancake man. He really makes a great pancake. So what it come, Mr. Kim, you're about to be famous. You're going on YouTube as the best pancake man, okay? So you need a pancake, you come and see this man. Thanks, mate. And these people here, they get their fructic fruit. Now, if you want to try this uh, cuttlefish, it's nice if you like um, salty beef jerky, but without the beef. But it's like, it's just really, really tough to eat. Um, it's not bad, but you need really good tea. This is how they cook it here. And again, these lovely people, they buy their produce fresh every single day. So it's very good. It's beautiful. Beautiful. This here is um, ch chicken, and this here is pork uh, crackling. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful food. And who's this handsome man? Maroi. Hello, Maroi. You are beautiful. Chisel and Chihuahua cross that one. Ah, she's a she. Hello, it's a he. Yeah, look. It's definitely a he. There you go. He's beautiful. Okay, so where are we going? We'll go, we might as well, ca well so we'll, we'll carry on down the soy. Um, oh, sorry, sir. See what I mean? So you got to give way to these people because they're, they're, they're um, well, and they're working. You know what I mean? Sorry, sir. They're working. Um, they're busy. There's a shitload of competition here in Caron, as there are in every town in Phuket. Um, so when people you know they're trying to sell you things they might get a bit shitty if you don't buy understand don't take it personally it's not about you it's uh, these people are just trying to scratch out a living and it's pretty bloody tough let me tell you this is very quiet here at the moment and uh, these people are trying to sketch out a living so this is the big one where we do our sh shopping supermarket here the water I think is 70 baht for 12 bottles um, which is pretty reasonable you know that's pretty good Another, another suit shop here. This gentleman